Hi. For most of my life, I've been trying to explore how people connect with their experiences, whether from a uh, practical or a creative, psychological, or philosophical standpoint. For instance, this garage here, from a pragmatic standpoint, is simply a place that people go to store and, re and retrieve their cars. But there's more to it than that, in how we react to the spaces and to how we exist in these spaces. That's the kind of stuff I want to get to, but I need to be able to uh, share the experience with you. I've always had a hard time doing that. But now, I have a video camera inside my smartphone. You have a video camera, a video player in your smartphone, and we have uh, YouTube to connect on it. So what I'd like you to do is, I'd like you to turn off the video and go and find a parking garage similar, similar to the one that I'm in right now. And uh, we'll explore this together. Don't worry, I'll wait for you. Okay, so either you're just curious and you've kept watching the video, or you actually are in a garage like this. So what I want you to do is walk around and get a feel for the place. And I want you to look for a particular type of area in the garage where there's uh, infrastructure. Because parking garages, uh, because parking garages are created with absolutely no interest in uh, appearances, there's no problem in leaving infrastructure exposed like this. So in every garage, you will find places where the infrastructure is exposed. I want you to go and find one of these places and stare at it for a while. Do you get a cold feeling in the back of your neck? Do you start smelling the? Uh, the oily smell in the air, does it start getting a little creepy? That's because this is fairly foreign to you unless you're um, involved in the infrastructure of parking garages. And that foreign feeling is part of your experience of any place that you go. As foreign as it feels, there's something familiar about it. That's the kind of stuff I want to explore. Next thing I want you to do is to walk up close to this area, but then lean down and take a look up near the ceiling. Not the ceiling itself, but the spaces. The space in the ceiling. There's a, um, try to imagine that you can see the airspace between the cement joists. Now this is actually even more alien because the infrastructure, at least you know, has a purpose. But that space up there doesn't seem to fill any purpose at all. So let's take a walk and think about this. Lao Tzu in the Tao Te Ching talked about the wooden bowl. The craftsman makes the wooden bowl out of the wood, but it's actually the empty space inside the bowl that holds the food that you eat same thing with a space like this. This space is made up of cement, steel, joists, uh, structures, and so on. But it's actually the empty space inside that you store your cars in. Remember when I told you that up in this area up here, in this empty space in the ceilings, it, looks, it may look kind of familiar, alien and familiar at the same time. For me, that is what my brain looks like. The spaces in my brain where I do my thinking are these empty spaces. Again, just like Lao Tzu, Lao Tzu says in the Tao Te Ching, we fill our mind with thoughts and information and facts, but it's actually the empty spaces where we do thinking. Thanks.